Hi, here we are back with the continuing saga of the Performance Directorhood, and today is animation layering. And I want to show you how to do that first wearing two HUDs because I think a lot of people have been in the situation where you're doing two different dances on two different people's HUDs. You'd be in a club and end up on two HUDs, and each time somebody changes a dance then you end up doing another person's dance. So I'll give you an example of that. First I have my uh, smooth dancer here and I'm gonna make us do cinder sugar here and I'm also wearing the performance director and I'm gonna go over here and just press slow burlesque and here we go doing the slow burlesque and if I stop that we're still doing cinder sugar in the background. It's continuing on. Let's try it again. There we go. And then stop. And there we go. Cinder sugar has looped and started again. So I'm going to turn that off and just close that. We don't need Smooth Dancer anymore. I'm going to show you how you can make that work to your advantage using the Performance Director and in our PD Tutorial 2 note card I have it set up for uh, me and Quentina to be uh, in the same group. I have debug on, I have uh, ankle lock on and now what we're going to do is put those commands. I'm going to use uh, two dances that I am going to kind of combine if I find it. Okay, the first one is slow, bur slow Burlesque 8. If you watch to see how our arms go in our heads, we don't want that. But we do want this part where we back up a little bit and continue on. But the beginning of it where our arms go in our head, we don't want that part. And I'm going to combine that with 16 and what I'm going to essentially do is start 16 and then when it and stop it when I want and it's going to continue on into the point where I want number 8 to start kind of harder to explain than it is to do or show. But here's how to do it. In previously uh, we've we've made animation um, time on the timeline where we would just put the time and a pipe and the animation name. Now what we're going to do is use a start and stop command. And when we use a start command before an animation like that and then the animation name I'm just going to copy it from my other screen here that means it's just going to keep running so if I put I can put all my other animations there in the timeline but that one is going to keep running. If when the other ones start it's going to keep running in the background. So what I want is to start that one and it's going to be hidden basically until I want it to show. So I'm going to combine it with 16 so I'm going to start immediately after that. They're both starting at 0 because they're both the same priority. So I'm going to start right after that number 16 because I like that the start of that one and I'm going to use the start of 16 to replace the start of 8 so when you use the start command you have to use the stop command at some point because they have to otherwise they're still running in the background so I figured out that that beginning with the hand with the arm and the head part is 6.5 seconds. So at 6.5 seconds I want 
number 8 to show. So 6.5, I'm going to stop 16 because I'm only going to use the first 6.5 seconds of 16 and then number 8 will continue to show. So let's show you what that will look like. Load and play. So there we go right into number 16, the start of it, and then that part where they back up a little bit, that's number 8. That is the uh, burlesque 8 dance. So now we can continue on normally like we like we always do, putting the time and the animation, but at some point we need to stop number 8, which is still running. So I've say your song speeds up at um, 30 seconds into the song and you want to do a Bollywood dance. So let's do Bollywood 16 and Bollywood 16 is going to supersede whatever is playing and each time you go down the line it's going to supersede but at some point I need to stop this burlesque, six, or burlesque 8 so I'm just going to do it at 31 seconds it doesn't doesn't matter because it's in the background and nobody's going to see it so each one that you have a start for you need a stop for so then we're just going to do Bollywood uh, let's go on we'll add another Bollywood in there and these are not perfect I was just uh, searching around for something as a as an example to show you and then at 90 seconds let's say we'll stop so let's see what that looks like load it there we go we're doing the beginning of 16 then we go into 8 And at 30 seconds, it's going to go to Bollywood. And come on. There we go. Goes into Bollywood. And immediately after Bollywood started, it stopped doing number eight in the background. So there you go that is animation layering. One thing uh, you need to know is about priorities. Dances have priorities and um, most dances are priority four. Occasionally you come across some that are three and if I started say number 16 happened to be priority three <clears throat> it's not going to take over the first one which you want it you need it too. So what you could do to get around that is just go either a, a fraction of a second in, you could even go like that and start it right after where it's almost um, unseen, where nobody can really see it, it goes so fast and it's also actually after um, in time as the uh, the first one so it will take priority but you just so if you run into that problem where it's not taking over then just add a second or two that's it for animation layering another thing to be aware of with animation layering is that you want your hands and your body position and your legs and everything to be pretty darn close to the point where you're combining the animations. You don't want to be way off over here and then start another animation that brings you back to the start position. Remember if you go off to the side that's just the animation. Your avatar center is where 
you are standing on the spot. Wherever the spot is, that's your avatar center. So you don't want to combine dances that are way off and, uh, and then they won't look natural. To find information about animation layering on the website, and on that Learn How page, of course, um, get there from here. Um, <clears throat> down here is animation layering. And I've also, by the way, put a link here for the video tutorials. But if you go to animation layering, it explains it, um, how it works, and the priorities, like I said, and the importance of putting the start and the stop commands, and gives you an example right here. It's really, really, really not that hard. And if you try it, the trick is just finding the right animations to put together, but it comes in really handy when you want to do things like at a certain point in, in the song, you really want to do this one move, but that move doesn't come at the point where you want it. Here you can make it come at the point you want it. So, um, the next one will be Idle Dance and... Um, what is the next one? Idle Dance and Emote Spoofing. Thanks for watching. Bye.